In fact, this team is an interesting mix of the old and the new. Our next report takes a look at the new faces, the fresh entrants, the names that stood out and what they bring to the table in this government. As the new Modi cabinet was sworn in, seen sitting on the dais were a number of new faces. Dr. Subramaniam Jai Shankar. One of the biggest surprises perhaps was the induction of S. Jai Shankar as a cabinet minister. I, Subramaniam Jai Shankar, do swear in the name of God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the constitution of India. The former foreign secretary is now heading the Ministry of External Affairs, which makes him a part of PM Modi's core team. He has been India's longest serving envoy in Beijing and an ambassador to the US tackling some tricky issues, especially with Washington, like the civil nuclear deal and the Devyani Cobra Gadi case. When Narendra Modi took over as India's PM in 2014, Jai Shankar emerged as his unofficial foreign policy advisor. Reports say that he caught Modi's attention when Modi visited China as Gujarat Chief Minister in 2012. Jai Shankar retired as Foreign Secretary in January 2018. And in April that year, the Tata Group appointed him as the head of Global Corporate Affairs. Experts say that Jai Shankar's inclusion as External Affairs Minister can bring in the expertise needed to navigate the economic turbulence arising out of the US-China trade war. Four-time Member of Parliament from Hamirpur in Himachal Pradesh, Anurag Thakur is one of the other names to stand out in the second Modi cabinet. I Anurag Singh Thakur. At 44 years of age, he is one of the prominent young faces in the current government. BJP Chief Amit Shah had promised to reward Thakur if he won with a record margin from Hamirpur. Thakur won from the constituency for the fourth time. At nearly 4 lakh votes, it was a record margin. He has now been rewarded with the important portfolio of Minister of State for Finance and Corporate Affairs. Son of two-time Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Prem Kumar Dhumal, Thakur was one of the young guns in the BCCI through 2010 and 2014. He was elected as BCCI President in 2016. He was removed by the Supreme Court in January 2017 for blocking the Lotha reforms initiated by the court in the wake of the match-fixing scandal in Indian cricket in 2013. Thakur has also been president of the Himachal Olympic Association and president of the BJP's youth wing. Another addition to Modi's team who has been catching everyone's attention is Pratap Chandra Sarangi from Odisha. Sarangi has been appointed Minister of State in the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises and the Ministry of Animal Husbandry, Daring and Fisheries. Pratap Chandra Sarangi, I ki sapat leta hun ki me vidhidwara sthapit bharat ke sambidhan ke prati sachi sraddha aur nishtha rakhunga. He has been making headlines for his austerity, with some on social media dubbed him as Odisha's Modi for his simple style of living. He now wants to bring Balasore on the tourism map. Sarangi campaigned on a bicycle and defeated two of the richest candidates in Odisha, including the son of Odisha Congress chief. Sarangi, in his election affidavit, has declared movable assets of just 1.5 lakh rupees and immovable assets only 15 lakh rupees. Kailash Chaudhary from Rajasthan is another notable entry in Team Modi 2.0. Chaudhary is also the youngest minister at the age of 35, fought one of the toughest contests in the largest constituency of Rajasthan. Defeating BJP veteran Jaswan Singh's son, Manvendra Singh in Barmer, who contested from the Congress. Chaudhary won by over 3 lakh votes. The HRD ministry will now be headed by Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. The Haridwar Lok Sabha member is known as a mass leader. The former Uttarakhand chief minister's elevation to the union cabinet could be an indication of a larger role that he might play in the state assembly's elections due in 2022. Bureau report, Vion World is One.